Hi everyone and welcome back to iScience. Today's experiment is super can crushing. I have a special guest with me, Martha Milam from East Coweta High School. She is the Science Olympiad coach and AP Chemistry teacher. Thanks for being with us, Martha. Appreciate yeah, it's it. great to be here. I see a, a, a one gallon can um, and it looks like there's some water down in the bottom of it and there's a hot plate. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell me about what's going on uh, with this setup. Well, the liquid is heating up, and as it heats up and gets to its boiling point, it's converting into gas molecules. So we're getting a lot more gas molecules increasing in pressure in the can. So there's more pressure right now inside the can uh, than there should be. Yes, it? yes, so because of all those new gas molecules. It looks like we're ready to go. Um, we're ready. We should probably take some safety precautions, don't you think? Yep, let's put on the goggles. I'm going to put the cap on, if you will stabilize it for me. All righty. This is super hot. Put her in there, and then I will. Wow! <laughs> Look at that. It's that just like is it's melting. collapsing. The, the can is Isn't melting. It? We crushed the can without even touching it. Yeah, the atmospheric pressure pushed in because what happened when we put this into the cold water, all those gas molecules, they condensed into liquid molecules. All that space that they were taking up just kind of went away. They didn't need all that volume anymore and the pressure just pushed it on in. Do you remember that time on iScience Live? Yes, I do. When, I do. We used the 55 gallon drum. That was impressive. Yeah. That was impressive. Should we check that out? Yes, so let's take a look at let's that. Check it. Let's check that out. <laughs> That was pretty awesome, that was crushing cool. that 55-gallon drum. That. Well, that's all the time we have for iScience. Stay tuned for more interactive science on CowetaTV.com. The I in iScience stands for interactive. We produce the show with you in mind. So if you have any questions or demonstrations that you'd like to see, please send me an email and I'll get them on the air for you.